This is Taylor from Zwanger Passiri Radiology. Thanks for joining us today for another series of Ask a Specialist, where we are focusing on men's health. Today's topic is cardiovascular health and what risk factors men should be on the lookout for. We are joined by Dr. David Degatti, world-renowned preventative cardiologist with the Suffolk Heart Group. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Um, really, really great to have this opportunity to, uh, to get some useful information out to people watching. So Dr. Degatti, is it true that heart disease is the number one killer of men in the United States? So unfortunately, heart disease is still the number one killer of men in this country. In fact, every 40 seconds in this country, somebody has a heart attack. So something is not right. We are, we in cardiology and in particular preventative cardiology, we're not doing a good enough job at screening people for heart disease. We're great at saving them when they have a heart attack, but we're not so great at preventing the heart attack. So what we're trying to do is become better and use technology to help us understand somebody's risk of developing a heart attack. So speaking of risk factors, what are some of them? And can we go by risk factors alone? So the traditional risk factors, just to name a few, this is not all inclusive, would be high cholesterol, smoking, diabetes, family history and high blood pressure. And the sad fact is we're well, in, we're well aware of risk factors, but we still are not great at preventing heart attacks. So what's the disconnect? Well, if you think about it, when you tell somebody they have X number of risk factors, you're really guessing what their risk of having a heart attack and you're even guessing if they even have disease. So what we're trying to do now in cardiology is take the guesswork out of it and look directly at the heart and the arteries. And a tool that we're using very effectively is something called the coronary calcium score. So how could we prevent heart attacks before it's too late? First of all, it should be remembered that the vast majority of heart attacks are preventable. The problem is, how do we do this? And we're using the coronary calcium score, which is a super fast CAT scan to screen people and tell them with fair accuracy, reliability, what their risk of having a heart attack is in the next five to 10 years. So I'm a preventative cardiologist at the Suffolk Heart Group. And this is something I offer many of my patients every day. And we are having tremendous success. Wow, that's great. Let's say you have a patient come in, male, in their 50s with high cholesterol. What's the typical approach you would take with a patient like this? So one thing I think we have to remember is not everybody with high cholesterol has to be on a medicine. I mean, that is something that needs to be really tailored to the person and their individual risk. So how do we do that? Well, yes, we look at all the risk factors, but more importantly, in my practice at the Suffolk Heart Group, what we do is we really individualize the care. And the best way to do that is with a coronary calcium score. The coronary calcium score can tell you, do you have almost no cholesterol building up? Do you have a lot of cholesterol building up? What is your risk of having a heart attack in the next five to 10 years? And by the way, how do you compare to men your age? And once I have that information, I can tell you exactly where I want your cholesterol levels to be and how we're gonna get there, whether it be with lifestyle or with medicine or maybe both. That's a lot of great information. So what's the easiest way for somebody to get in contact with you? Sure, absolutely. Um, uh, Dr. Dave Degatti, uh, Suffolk Heart Group. Uh, number is 631-265-5050. Uh, I also have a website, drdavedegatti.com. And linked to that website is a very robust social media page with a lot of information. So um, feel free to reach out and let's get everybody who needs to be screened, screened. That's some great advice. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you for having me.